Greetings, and of course, uh, it is the Friday before Mother's Day, and I know it's sort of cliche to have a Mother's Day type of a message, but I've been thinking a lot about Mother's Day the last couple of uh, days here in our house, uh, because uh, my wife had to have an outpatient medical procedure that she's uh, recovering from for the last couple of days, and to kind of fill in and do what she typically does as the mom of the house, I've had to pinch hit for her over the last few days. And and one of the things that I think really gives you an appreciation for what moms mean is when you've got to step in and fill the void that the mom in your house typically fills herself. In the last couple of days, I have to tell you, I, I deal with uh, politicians and leaders and captains of industry and friends and foes and uh, requests to do things and to speak at events uh, to die on the spot. I get lots of interesting requests. But that stuff, in terms of the amount of work and, and pressure that goes along with it, for me anyway, uh, it pales in comparison uh, to what it is that most of our moms deal with every single day. There was a movie out recently called Mars Knees Moms. Well, I think there's a few homes here in America, here in our own neighborhoods, that could use some moms. And I think that maybe this Mother's Day, if you have taken for granted uh, what to the mom in your house or the mom that raised you, uh, what it entailed being a mom, what she had to do in order to do that, then I would give you some advice. Do what I have done for the last couple of days and, and step into that role where all the cooking, all the cleaning, uh, the, the majority of the child rearing, nurturing, disciplining, comforting, playing, you do that. It is very, it's emotionally draining. It really is. I mean, to have people uh, that you love with all your heart, like your own children, but they need something constantly. They have questions constantly. I, I think it's probably been the last couple of days, it's been not until maybe after 10 o'clock and everybody was in bed that I actually had a quiet moment to think to myself when I wasn't sitting on a toilet. Okay, I mean, that's what being a mom really is on a day-to-day -day basis. And Men, if you wonder sometimes when we come home from work, if you wonder sometimes why they are eager to engage you uh, or eager to leave the kids with you and get out of the house, it's because that is difficult. And, you know, sometimes, and I fall prey to this too, you know, I come home, and this doesn't happen in our house a lot, but, you know, we're human and it does happen sometimes. You come home and the wife gives you that look like, make the bad man stop. Somebody stop the madness. And you're thinking, I mean, come on. You get to stay home all day, play with the kids. You know, I'm out, you know, doing what it is we got to do to put food on the table and make a buck. The difference there, though, is it's not nearly as emotionally draining as this is. And a lot of times the moms do it without the benefit of a lot of adult interaction each and every day. And, you know, there's been a, there's a couple of times a year where I'm, because of circumstances, my wife goes out or uh, maybe there's something like we're dealing with right now with a medical situation where, you know, you got to step in. you got to fill in for mom. And these are some of the most memorable times I'll have during the course of the year because it certainly reminds me of what is going on all day long when I'm not at home. What's going on when we're taking time and we're taking things for granted when we come home and dinner's ready or the kids are minding and everybody's dressed and you're thinking, wow, must be pretty simple to keep all of this going all day long. Well, when you've got to step in and you've got to fill that void and you've got to be the person on the wall, you find out it's not nearly as easy. So this Mother's Day, what I'm thinking about is again being reminded about my wife Amy and what she does as the mother in our home and what she has to put up with and what she has to deal with. Uh, and it just gives you a new appreciation these last couple of days, walking a little bit in her shoes. And hopefully when she gets back up on her feet, at least for a few days, if not a few weeks, it'll be a reminder to me maybe to be a little bit more sensitive to what she's been going through while I was away, while I was at work. And that's probably the best Mother's Day gift I could give her. If you would want to follow us on Facebook, you're welcome to. Stephen Dace is how you can find us there. You can also email us, steve at stevedace.com. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter at steve underscore dace. God bless. Thanks for watching.